Support for Radio Friends comes from Columbia Healthy Smiles, the dental office of husband and wife team, Dr. Batson and Dr. Abe, offering comprehensive and customized care to patients of all ages. Learn more by calling 573-721-9039 or online at www.columbiahealthysmiles.com. Good morning. Welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, March the 1st. We start a brand new month of 2023. Before you know it, we're going to be saying it's 4th of July and then Thanksgiving and then Christmas again. Andrew Grabau is with us, uh, Heart of Missouri United Way. Good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. What are we talking about today? Well, I tell you what, you know, I always think at in the morning is maybe a good time for people to reflect. So if you don't mind, I'd like your listeners to to think for just a minute about uh, our kids in our community. And for a minute, just think of your own, maybe a grandchild, maybe a neighbor or a child that you saw this morning, or maybe even your own, and get a mental picture of that child. Now, imagine or take a literal inventory of what is needed to meet the needs of that child. So think about a hug, think about breakfast, think about clothing, notes or words of encouragement, providing them with assurance and security that our community is looking after them and we support them. Think about love. And I wanted your listeners to do that, Paul, because our community is responsible for our kids. And that is the vision that the heart of Missouri United Way takes when we look at investing and making decisions of how to use community dollars to benefit our kids. And so I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to just talk about that. You know, there's a book by Robert Putnam that came out, oh my gosh, it's probably close to 10 years ago, called Our Kids. Mm -hmm. And it is a story about the responsibility that we all have in making sure that our kids regardless of what they look like or where they live or where they're from, we have a responsibility for our kids to make sure that they have the opportunities to succeed. And that's what the Heart of Missouri United Way tries to do through our investments and through our work. And you realize what you're investing in the kids today will come back and benefit all of us in the future, including, including us. We're the adults right now, but the kids will be adults in the future, and they will be responsible for us and for a new generation of kids. That's right. You know, and really we're at a crisis, and I know that word is thrown around a lot, and perhaps it's lost its impact, but let me share just a couple of things that help in describing the crisis that we are truly in with our kids. We currently, back in February, Columbia Public Schools reported that there were 375 kids that were listed as unsheltered or homeless. Wait, 375 kids? Yes. Did, when you say unsheltered, they had no place to go? That means they're couch surfing or they're sleeping. We have 83 kids in Columbia Public Schools that are living in motels locally. They do not have a place that we would call a home. home. We know that our kids are dealing with all-time highs around mental health. And in fact, United Way moved a grant recently that was originally allocated for dental screenings for children. And we moved it to supplement another grant for counseling because the demand in schools was so high for our kids. I. Just fathom that. We ran out of the $70,000 grant that United Way was providing for mental health and added an additional $30,000 because of the demand. For the kids here in the Columbia Public School System. And our teachers do so much. They handle and help and raise and love our kids. But it is not their responsibility to do all of it. It's our community's responsibility. Mm-hmm. And so the issues that we have in our community, they, you know, they're, they're macro issues. I get it. They're all across the country. And perhaps we feel like there isn't just one single approach to solving them. And, and I think that's right. But 
we got to think about the global issues at large and think of local solutions for addressing them. And so United Way is doing that this year as the best as we can through a number of grants. And if you don't mind, I'd just like to no, read the organizations because this is a little bit of a laundry list, but it shows the, the complex approach that, and strategic approach that United Way takes. So we have grants that are helping our kids at Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Central Community Action, CH, uh, Columbia Housing Authority, Fun City, First Chance for Children, Grade A+, Plus, Jabberwocky Studios, United Community Builders, Compass Health, Center, Columbia Center for Urban Agriculture, Boys and Girls Club, Great Circle, Lutheran Family Services, Central Missouri Foster Care and Adoptive Association. And there's a few others on that list, well, I too. I counted 14 right there. There you go. 14 right there and, and more. So you, when you think of the money that's going to those organizations, and those organizations are here to help support the kids and make life better for them. I would hate to think what the community would be like without those organizations there to assist. Yes, yes, there's 31 total and 45 grants that United Way is helping to fund this year. And each one is unique in that it identifies a specific area of support. It identifies a specific program. They are not duplicated, they're complementary Because life is complex, our investment strategy is just as complex. Mm. You, you're, you're doing the best that you possibly can with the funds that you have and i know all of this takes support from the community also in helping to keep united way going what does it, it does. look like this year it does 97 percent of our revenue at united way comes from local community donations 97 percent and so for this year we know that the need is continuing to increase and we're going to have in and maybe later this spring I can come back and share a little more details on it but we know that United Way's investment strategy um, does help people I mean we served 63,000 individuals in central Missouri over 530,000 hours of service 63,000 yes. people have been helped with yes. United Way. Is that this year or was that last, last year? Year's. Last year. Yes. Mm -hmm. so you don't know. The, this year it could end up being a whole lot more. That's right. And I, I think it's just important to note really fast for your listeners that of that 63,000 individuals, 53% went to youth of 19 years of age or younger. So we focus as much of our support as possible on our youth. Okay. If people want more information or if you would like to help out uh, in any way, financially or by um, donating time, you can go to www.uwheartmo.org. That's uh, Heart of Missouri uh, United Way.org. Yes. UW heartmo.org. Yes. I'll get it. Okay, what else? I want to say happy birthday to my wife, Ashley. March 1st is her birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, <laughs> Ashley. Right? There we go. I won't ask you how old she is. <laughs> He's been bragging all morning long about what a great wife you are. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>